He said, come on, even by faith, I may not be where I ought to be, but I thank God I ain't where I used to be. Come on, you got to get there. Come on. Amen? You got to get there. Yeah, come on. This thing is done by faith. Amen, somebody. It's done by faith. It's not done by what I'm looking at. Amen. Because if I look at, the, come on, the Bible said the just shall live by what? What they believe. Do you believe that God can bring you out? Amen. Or you got to wait to see it. Jesus told Thomas, blessed are those that believe that don't see. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But you got to see it in order. To see, if you can see it, it ain't faith. Amen. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Glory to your name, God. Amen. Pray, get your mouth. I know y'all ready for me to get out your face. I just got up. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is saying something. Can we can we can we agree that God is speaking? Yeah, he's he's speaking real clear to me. I don't know about you, but I'm not trying to make light of how you hear God. Everybody hear God differently. But I'm telling you right now, He is speaking. Amen. Huh? Amen. The Bible said, let them that have an ear to hear what the Spirit has to say to the church. Go with me this morning uh, to the book of Luke chapter 9. Luke chapter 9. Chapter nine. You know we, you know we, 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 we commit ourselves to a lot of things in life. Yeah, we can even connect ourselves to a lot of stuff in life. Amen. Now, when I say this right here, I don't mean this new age teaching. We give a lot of energy to a lot of things that don't prosper us nothing. Come on, yeah. <laughs> Come on talk and resources. You know, uh, uh, so many of us are so skeptical, even about the things concerning God. Amen, amen. I'm talking about that. And the Bible backs it. Okay? Amen. Watch this. The man that had a son that had a lunatic spirit brought his son to Jesus. Amen. Okay? Uh -huh. And he says to them, I believe, but help my unbelief. Uh -huh. Oh, that sound contradicting? Yes, you know, it's like us saying, God, I heard what you said, but I don't hear what you say. Luke chapter 9. Verse chapter, um, Luke chapter 9. Are you there? Yeah. <sighs> Verse 57. And it came to pass... That as they went in the way, a certain man said unto him, Lord, I will follow thee, whithersoever thou go. Is that what your Bible reads? Amen. And Jesus gave him the conditions. And Jesus said unto him, Foxes have holes, birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man have nowhere to lay his head. And he said to, to another, Follow me. But he said, Suffer me first to go bury my father. Jesus said unto him, Let the dead bury their dead. But go thou and preach the kingdom of God. Sometimes Jesus can sound like he don't care. You remember when Jesus remember when he came to he sent a message, uh, Mary and Martha had sent a message to Jesus that Lazarus was sick. Did he go see about him? No, he waited. Okay. He waited until he was good and dead, didn't he? <laughs> Verse 61. And another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but first let me go uh, bid them farewell, which are at which are home at my house. Jesus fixed them too. Jesus said unto him, No man, having put his hand to the plow. And looking back is fit for the kingdom 
of God. Let's pray. Father, we thank you in this place this morning. We give you all the glory and honor. We give you all the praise. Father, I pray, God, that we get to a place that we stop making excuses for why we don't follow you. We stop making excuses for why we don't do what you called us out to do. We stop making excuses, Father, uh, for why we can't get to where we need to get when we need to be there. Amen. I bind every spirit of offense from the beginning in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. God, we thank you, Father. After your word has been preached, confirm it with silence following. We're going to give you praise in advance, glory, honor, and Jesus the Christ name in the church said. Amen. Amen. Please be seated in the presence of Almighty God. I just want to share with you just for a little while, a few minutes, and share about some of the hindrances that keep us from following God effectively. My God. Amen. You know, so many of us got bags of excuses that we go in. You know, reasons why we can't get something done. It ain't just got to be, it ain't got to just be coming to church. Amen. You know. <laughs> If I look at if I look at if I look at you, you might think I'm talking about you, but some of us got an excuse for everything. That's right. Huh? That's right. Some of us got an answer for everything. Yes, yeah, but you don't understand. You you you, you just don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I know that you need to get in place and stay. Amen. I do. Sometimes we need to be still and hush. Amen. Come on, talk. Come on, talk to them. My topic this morning: God wants total commitment. Yes. He wants total. Commitment. Total. Uh, yeah, yeah. Give me Romans chapter 8. And verse uh, 35 through 39. Romans chapter 8, verse 35 through 39. Read the Bible, please. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Who shall separate you? From the love of Christ. Read. Shall tribulation, mm. or distress, or persecution, or famine, or nakedness, or peril, or sword? I won't let nothing. We should let nothing separate us from the love, from the assignment, from the call of God. Amen. Come on. Nothing. Down. Nobody. Mama, daddy, wild, wife. Spouse, house, mouse, <laughs> nobody, nothing, Amen. job. That's right. Hey Amen. Watch this. Three hindrances that these men begin to talk about in uh, Luke chapter 9. The first one was material comforts. My God. That's yeah, the first man stopped talking about, I'll follow you. Jesus said, well, just remember now, sometimes they ain't got nowhere to sleep. <laughs> yeah, that's right. yeah, sometimes you might have to sleep on the side of the road with me. Well, you ready to steal road with me and be my road dog? Uh, no, Jesus, Jesus looking for some road dogs. Okay. He's looking for some, some flying down. Hey, what you call them? Riding down. Riding down. Riding down. He's looking for some riding down. Yeah. The second thing is uh, jobs or occupations. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, the man says, I'll follow you, but let me first go wait until my daddy dies. Ooh, my God. I'm talking, sir. But he, Jesus said, he won't cruel. He just said, let them that deal with the dead. Oh, glory to God. He said, let them handle that. Because that look, because I see the man was where he wanted to wait for his daddy to die so he could get the inheritance. That's why we got to study stuff and stop reading. That's right. Yeah. Come on. He don't know how long that was going to take. Well. But Jesus, knowing all things, mm -hmm. he said, let them handle that. You're going to get your little inheritance. Uh -huh. But come follow me and preach the... the come on now. Woo. The third thing is family and friends. Well, you got to cut them Gentiles and loose. Well, I'll say so. Amen. Yeah. Come on, tell me. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Amen. Family and friends. Uh, the man says, I'll follow you, mm -hmm. 
But let me first go home because they're having a family reunion at the house. My Jesus. And I'll be out of town that weekend. Well, I... <laughs> I ain't gonna text the pastor and tell him Jack. I'll just be out of place uncovered, guess what? And open pray for the devil. Because we're praying this morning and straight. Come on. Okay. Yeah, come on here. <laughs> Prophesy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, come on, because we, look, when you out of play, you don't do it at your job. Well, right. Come on, some of us work, some of us will work 12 hours days. Mm -hmm. Don't want to be there, but we there. Yeah. We mumbling under our breath, but we right there. Yeah. Yeah. And watch this. And if we don't go, we call out. Yeah, okay. <laughs> 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 got no call yet. My phone's still on all day long. One thing about my phone, I promise you, any day that I monitor, it don't go dead. Okay. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't go dead. I, got, I, I, I get text messages from certain people. Some people are accountable now. I'm not saying everybody aren't. But some people ain't. They just don't show up and you don't hear nothing from them. And, and they make out an Ephi. Right. <laughs> I'm calling you because I'm accountable for your gut and your soul. That's what I'm calling you for. <laughs> I want to see where you at, Father. <laughs> Amen. Well, man. Because half the people in, I don't know where you stay at. I wouldn't go to your house. You ain't got to worry about that. Not unless I'm invited. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah, we, we, we don't roll like that. Amen. 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 Yeah. yeah. You don't know where I stay at either. That's where I like it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I give you my address, you can Googie. <laughs> Ride by and keep moving. <laughs> Woo, glory. So, 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 so these are three hitters that these men right here had encountered. That's good right there. They all wanted to follow Jesus, well, but they wanted it the way they wanted it. Some of us, we the same way. It's, yeah, we the same way. The word commitment means to, I've got my definition there. Yeah. Jesus. Uh, wait a let me give you a definition of excuse since, since you're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> to give reasons to be released from something. Yeah, we give reasons to be released from something. To justify. To show cause or to be eliminated. Yeah. Commitment. The state or quality of being dedicated to a cause or activity. Yeah, no, 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 no. Commitment, commitment, and commitment are attached to convenience. That's right. Because when I'm committed to something, it's priority. Yeah, man. Yeah. You better say it's priority. That. See, when, when God is really first in your life for real enough. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. When you say you love him, well, you don't have to say it. Right. You show it. Oh, glory to God. Somebody got it. You show it. Amen. Amen. So, in order for us to commit to God, we have to stop making excuses. Amen. Stop making excuses for why we can't commit or do whatever it is that God is calling us to do. That's right. See, because we got a bag of excuses. We got we got this long list on why. Yeah, God, I know God called me. I know that He anointed me. And I, we, we know all that, so we say. <laughs> But what happens to the anointing when I'm not operating? My God. That's good. I know you probably never heard this, huh? What happens to the anointing when I'm not operating in it? Because, you know, anything that sits still <laughs> get a little rusty. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you, well, what happens when you don't pray in the spirit? Do your tongue kick, 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 you, cuckoo? <laughs> <laughs> what happens when you don't operate in the anointing that's on your life? Come on, sir. Huh? Because somebody is waiting on you. Hello. Let me get out of there right there because I want somebody's toes. I want to get on your whole foot. Come on. Okay. So it's so easy to sit around and make excuses for why we can't do something. 
Uh, it takes something to get up and decree that I can do what God has called me to do. Come, on, Come hell or high water. Come on now. I'm not going to sit around and waste precious time making convenient excuses. Amen, amen. Yeah. I'm not going to try to get in somebody else's lane and try to do what God called them to do. And I ain't doing what God called me to do. See, first of all, I got to make sure that what, that what God called me to do first. Mm -hmm. I got to know who I am in God. You know, you might not be a part of the fivefold ministry. What's the fivefold ministry? The apostle, the prophet, evangelist, pastor, the teacher. Mm -hmm. That's the fivefold ministry. You might not be one of those, but you're still something in the body of Christ. Right. It's just like an engine. Let me give you an illustration of an engine. Now, in order to see the engine, most times you got to do what? Oh, uh, yeah, I got to lift the hood. So you got to lift the hood up and look at the engine. All the stuff you see under the hood ain't there because they didn't have nothing else to do. Right. <laughs> right. Everything is important. That's why it's there. Every sticker. Right. Come on, you might just be a sticker in the kingdom. Well. <laughs> hey, man, just be the best sticker. Just, 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 stay, just stay right there where you at. That's what sticker <laughs> Yeah, if you're in the worst stay, stay, stay still. Be right there. Don't you move. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah because you got some stuff on you uh, that's important. Uh, Woo! God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Roll yeah. over that sticker. Uh, uh, specifications. Yeah. Come on, coach. My God, yes, that's good. Good God Almighty. Good. You just got to know, look, 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 whatever you are, whoever you are, just stay right there. Uh, yeah, you might be that radiator. Somebody got the... Oh, glory. Pour something in you. And then once they pour something in you, it's not the, it's not the stay in you. It's got to flow. Woo! God Almighty. It's got to flow to every part of the body. The engine is the whole body of Christ. And when they pour the stuff in the radiator, it, it, it meets every, it goes down the block. Yeah. It goes through the water pump. Uh -huh. Come on, it goes through the reservoir. You might be a reservoir. Uh -huh. You might just be that thing that just holding the power. Oh, God might be holding a little power over there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but watch this. But when the radiator gets low, it draws from the yes, reservoir. Yes, My God. Well, like that. <laughs> yeah, it draws from the reservoir. That's why you got to keep the reservoir full. Yeah. Lord, have mercy. You got to stay full of the word. Come on, you got to stay full of the word because uh, you don't never know when somebody needs to draw from you. Yeah. You over there mad and angry and ugly in the place up. Yeah, we don't need no ugly in the kingdom. We got enough of that. Open the door for me. Let some ugly out. <laughs> Open the door. You, you get it. She'll get it. She'll get it tomorrow evening. Let's go. <laughs> so. <laughs> so, so, so every part of that engine is important. Maybe you might be the carburetor. Uh -huh. Good God of mine. Now, you know the carburetor got to be, it's got to be adjusted right. Yes, sir. Yeah, because if they ain't adjusted right, it'll cause the engine to run rough. That's right. Amen. Come on. That's why you got to stay. You, got, you, might, be, you might be a spark plug. Uh, Maybe you might be a spark plug wire. Well, I got But it. everything is connected. Yes, That's right. Huh? Uh, every joint supplies the whole. Come Good on, God Almighty. Right. Come on. So everything is important. That's right. Yeah, every, th th there's nothing that, 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 that's not important. It might be less important to you, well, but it's not to God. Right. Amen. Amen. Yeah. It might be the transmission. Yeah. Come on. Yeah. Come on, the whole car now. Yes, sir. Yeah. Good. It might be a tire. Mm -hmm. yeah. It might be a headlight. Mm -hmm. Are you shining? Mm -hmm. Or you need to be changed out? Because mm -hmm. yeah, anything that's not fruitful in the kingdom, guess what God does? He shoot it down and get rid of it. Come on now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So when you got a house, when you got a headlight, that's not what do you do? Change it to your right. So, so when you ain't doing your job, you get you. You get you oh boy. So anyway, right, sir. Woo, I'm not going to sit around and waste precious time making excuses. And excuse is something we use when our heart is not fixed and our mind is not made up. Because when you find a person with a heart that is fixed and his mind made up, he makes statements like, we well able. We can do this. Let's get it done. 
There are solutions. There are people that they find solutions for the problem. They're not problem makers. Come on now. Amen. Amen. And see, we don't have enough of these kind of type of people in the body of Christ. We got a lot of people that's giving a lot of suggestions. Come on, but when it's time to get the work done, yeah, they got the work. That's their job. Well, <laughs> yeah, you're working, but you're working in the wrong place. Oh, Lord, let me hear you. Thank you, Holy Ghost. You don't never be in Bible study. Yeah. My God. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, yeah that part right there. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus. Because yeah, yeah. I know who be in Bible study and who don't. Amen. Amen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of times what happens when, when, when God is, is feeding us, uh -huh. and most times, Sundays and Wednesdays, you should be nibbling through the week. Uh -huh. God Almighty. Uh, what, what, what's coming through Bible study and Sundays should stay in your spirit. Amen. That's right. And so when I talk to you, uh -huh. I ought to hear yes. <laughs> Come on. what's Come been on. said. Come on. Yeah, see, see, the only way you're going to know how people hear is you got to let them talk. Uh -huh. Say that. That's right. Yeah, That's yeah. Right. I can tell where you've been by what your conversation is. Uh -huh. Yeah, some, oh God, thank you, Lord. Uh, 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 when you come to, when you went to school, uh -huh. your mama went out and bought school supplies, or your daddy and your parents. Yeah. Right. What, 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 what's some of the things that they bought? Pencil, cheese, notes, paper, That's two things. That, that's good right there. Two, two things. Pencil and paper. Uh -huh. Pencil and paper. You go ahead and close. So, so, so when you come to the classroom, uh -huh. you should have something to take some notes with. That's right. That right, right there. there. That right there. Yeah, yeah, because when you go to wealth seminars, you knock people out. Goddamn boy, the wealth trying to get these notes. Move! God, move! I'm trying to get these notes. Right? And you're trying to get everything you can get, ain't you? Why? Because you want to try to know how to make that move. But we talk about your eternal salvation here. Why wouldn't you take notes? That bothers me. Now, see, it may raise my level of curiosity. Yes, sir. When you say you got a call in your life, <laughs> but you can't tell me what I talked about last week. Well, yeah. my God. I, I ain't got no problem. I ain't got no problem. I said, what? You talking to me? I said, so what did God say last week? And you <laughs> go to the. That's what he said right there. Amen. See, I know you focused there. Amen. I don't care if you got a little, I used to carry a little pad in my pocket. Yes, sir. They clapped out, I don't want to take no notes, but boy, did they know. <laughs> little did they know. I'll make that loading up. <laughs> <laughs> they talking, I'm taking notes. Yes, sir. Amen, because I knew who I was. Amen. It took me a long time. I heard that I was called to pastor of church in 1998. Mm. Wow. I, I mean, I don't know where near it. When they said that, I ran way back. Okay. <laughs> you know why I read back? Okay. I hadn't been delivered. Okay. I was still doing some things. Well, okay. Hello. Cause see, <laughs> 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 yeah, I, I'm talking about no, no, I ain't had no pastors. You other man, you 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 tripping? Yeah, okay. yeah, you tripping. But everywhere I would go, focus kept saying, focus kept saying, study, study, study. Man, I want to hear more than that. <laughs> <laughs> study, study the word, study the word, study the word. And then God started making it clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I started equipping myself. See, you can equip yourself. But you got to get with the right plate, the right people. That's Amen. right. Yeah, yeah. See, see, if God could open my head and pour it in, he would do that. Right. But guess what? He ain't going to do that. Yeah. He want to see how bad you want it. That's uh -huh. right. Yeah, I sat around. I've I, I been. I, I sat. I, I sat in the, the, the waiting room for a long time mm. before I gave birth. Oh my God. Yeah. Stood right there. Yeah. I didn't put my legs in the stirrup to push. <laughs> I didn't start pushing. See, a lot of times. That's why you got to have no midwife. They will tell you when to push. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Because if you push at the wrong time, you could hurt something. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. You got to know that. Because that's why you got to be. You got to be listening. Yes. Amen. The, the mirror, right there, okay, now push now. <laughs> and I'm right here, boom, ah, glory to God. Oh, don't push now. <laughs> what you talking about, Pastor? So you just follow the instructions of the one that you said nothing. Amen. 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 I, I, I didn't come to hurt nobody. Amen. You know, I, I, matter of fact, I, I didn't really, uh, I didn't really like some of the people that I sat under. 
Yes, but the thing about it, it wasn't predicated on whether I liked them or not. That's right. Amen. I ain't gonna say I didn't like my parents. I'll never say that, but then I didn't choose my parents. That's right. God chose them. That's right. So you can't choose the leaders that you Okay then. All right. Help us out. I'm helping somebody with I, I might not be helping my government. I'm helping somebody out there. <laughs> so listen. So uh, they, 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 you know, people that got their mind, uh, they, their hearts fixed, their mind made up. They say things like, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Uh -huh, uh -huh. They don't allow circumstances to dictate to them whether they, they whether or not they can do, uh, that they, they can do what God has called them to do or go forward or back up. Because the Bible just said that uh, uh, a man that put his hand to the assignment. Yes. Uh -huh, uh -huh. That's right. It's not fair. <coughs> See? You can't plow going. You can't plow going forward, and because when you look, I don't make the way I can't. If I'm gonna pull, if you look that way, you gonna you pull the mule. Okay. Yeah, 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 you all over. That's right. Yeah, you got, you got, you got the focus. Uh huh. Amen. See that mirror in the car? It's only let you know who's behind you. Just you, you like you speed. <laughs> Okay, you, you glimpse. You know, you got side mirrors, in, but you glimpse. Mm -hmm. But you got to stay focused, focused on going ahead. Mm -hmm. In Exodus chapter 14, the Bible said that when Pharaoh was on their back, and they came out and they were, they were getting ready to cross the Reed Sea. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's called the Reed Sea. R E E D. I'm telling you, go back and study. You know, you laughing. Y'all call it the Red Sea. It won't red. It's Reed. Anyway, they came, when they got ready to cross, to cross the Red Sea, <laughs> Pharaoh was all behind them. Mm -hmm. right. They had mountains on one side and the valley on the other. They couldn't go that way, that way, or right. God didn't want them going that way. That's right. yeah. They started crying. Why are you bringing told Moses, you brought us out here to die? Mm, that's the word. That's the word. You brought us out here to die? Mm -hmm. And then Moses, Moses went to God crying. The Lord said to Moses, Why cry thou unto thee? Woo. Use what you got. My God. God had given him a staff and a rod. He says, stretch it out. Woo. See, we got to stretch out our faith over anything that's uh, blocking you. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Yeah, he stretched out the rod in the in the in the Red Sea party. My God. Amen. Because watch this. He told him, say, and tell the children of Israel to go forward. God ain't never told us to go back. That's right. Not backwards, he ain't. Amen. He ain't told us to go backwards. Because mm -mm. anything, okay, Philippians chapter 3 and verse 12. Mm -hmm. I just want to remind somebody this morning. That's what the word of God is for. It, it, it does a whole lot of things. One of the things it does is remind me of what God already told me through somebody else. Remind me. That you got to keep going. If you're going to try to get to California from Fayetteville, you know, you don't get to Georgia and then turn around and come back to Fayetteville. You ain't never going to get there. Yeah. What's Philippians 3.12? Not as though I had already attained. Okay. Either we're already perfected mm -hmm. but I follow after if that I may apprehend that for which also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Read 13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, mm -hmm. but this one thing I do. One thing I do. Forgetting those things which are behind oh God. and reaching forth unto those things which are before. So I got to forget. No, no, I can't forget my past because it's part of my testimony. But I got to forget what I've left. Mm -hmm. Okay? Give me um, Isaiah chapter 43, verse 18 and verse 19. I got I to gotta, I gotta leave behind huh, what I'm finished with. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because it, 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 it was for then. Now God has taken me forward to another place. So I got to focus on where I'm going. Mm -hmm. Amen. So I got to get to a place where I got to get my mind emptied out of all the stuff, the voices, mm -hmm. and stuff that's clouding my mind. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 43, verse 18. Remember, 
remember ye not the former things, mm -hmm. neither consider the things of old. Hold it now, so so he don't remember he don't really remember the former things. All the things of old. Come on. Come on. <laughs> Behold, I would do a new thing. Now it shall spring forth, shall ye not know it. So that means he can't do nothing new if I keep dipping and dabbing with the same <laughs> old thing. My God, that's good, amen. Because, see, you keep going back to what you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. And God want to do something that you ain't never known. Amen. Amen. Eye have not seen. Yes. Ear have not heard. Neither has it entered the heart of man the thing the things that God has prepared for them Amen. that love him. So you keep going back. Some, some, somebody here, you, you, you need to just hold your peace. Everything somebody brings to you don't deserve your opinion. Amen. Don't deserve a response. Amen. But you keep the fire burning because you keep talking. Yeah. You can talk about all the other stuff, but you can't hardly quote scripture. Mm. My God. Jesus. And you're argumentative, you're confrontational. I see you. I can call your name. Jesus. Confrontational. God said, hold your peace and I'll fight the battle. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, did you finish all did you finish 19? All 19? And I will even make a way in the wilderness and the rivers in the desert. Look at this. So God, so when I get rid of, so when I let go of what was mm -hmm. and start walking to what is going to be, then God start opening the way up for me. Yeah. He said, I'll make, what do you say? Rivers, make a way in the wilderness and in the rivers in the desert. What's in the wilderness? Somebody say nothing. nothing. But I'll make a way, rivers. I'll provide for you in dry places yeah. where there's lack. Mm. I'll make provision. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's go God. Man, there's no lack in God. God just waiting on you to stop making the same dumb decision. Come on, sir. Mm -hmm. That's right. You ain't praying about nothing. You just doing stuff. Mm. My God. So, listen to this right here. Uh, God is tired of us making excuses to get out of doing what he's assigned us. Mm -hmm. He's tired of it. Mm -hmm. Don't tell me God don't get tired of us. He got to a place, told Moses, I'm getting ready to kill all of them. Amen. And Moses reminded him, God, now you said these were your people. Right. God got tired of them in Noah's day, and he had his way. Mm -hmm. Didn't he? Yes, I'm talking about a whole world of millions of people and only eight were saved. Oh, God. We serve the same God that took lives then because when judgment comes, uh, some of these judgments won't be changed. Amen. <laughs> yeah. Come on now. I mean, man, he, let me tell you something. Old Testament and new. God has the right because he gave life to take life. He ain't got to explain to you, cry all you want. Mm -hmm. Amen. Disobedience, sin, mm. brings forth sometimes physical death. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And since sometimes God, even born again people, sometimes God will, will bring them home to keep them from going to hell. Amen. Yes, Amen. Yep. My God. Mm -hmm. he, oh, he's so compassionate. Yeah, but there's, a, there's another side to it. He came as a lamb. Uh, on now. Huh? To redeem mankind back to God. Mm -hmm. But when he come back, he's going to be roaring. He's going to be roaring when he come back. What is the lion? King of the jungle. Thank you so much. He's the king of the what? Jungle. King of the jungle. Amen. Come on, when the lion roars in the jungle, uh -huh. everything got to bow down. Oh, McNeil is here. Uh, <laughs> I'm a lion. Amen. I know what I am. Come on here. I'm a lion. I, and you talk all the time. That's because I'm a lion. I can't hear it. That's my roar. Yeah, yeah. I, there was a woman, I don't know her name. She had a song, Here, uh, I Am Lion, Hear Me Roar. You ever heard that song? 
Okay. Yeah, I'm lying. Hear me rolling. Loose your hole. <laughs> Might be a lying ass. He ain't no lying. Right. I think that was a song. Right? Yeah. I ain't gonna look at me like, oh, uh, is he right? No, it's a Katy Perry song. You right? It's who? It's a Katy Perry song. Oh, okay, I don't know Katy Perry, but she ain't no lying. <laughs> I know what she ain't. Yeah. Yeah, because see, what happens is, see, see, if we don't stay in our place, well, then we'll we we'll, we'll start to to uh, get people start taking the applauses of men in, and we feel like, yeah, yeah, this thing feel pretty good here. Mm. Yeah, I'm lying. Yeah. <laughs> so why you talking lying? <laughs> so yeah. So uh, anyway, let me move here. Uh, Matthew 16, chapter uh, verse 24. Then Jesus said unto his disciples. Cause see he he you know he narrowing it down. See when he got when you got a lot of people around you, everybody ain't got the same uh, thoughts, right? You know in their mind to just to follow the right way or do what's what God is calling to do. Yeah, uh, the Bible said Jesus told the disciples. He said I chose twelve of you, and one of you was a devil. That's what the Bible said. I didn't say it now. Right. So for every 24 members, you got two devils. <laughs> and you do the math. Yeah, yeah. I start counting this side, and you, and you number 12 and 24. <laughs> anyway, so, so he says, uh, Jesus said this. He said, no, 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 I, I, I don't want that one. I want Luke 14, 26. Uh, let, 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 let's take that one. Let's take that one. Luke 14, 26. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be about 20 more minutes, please. God, man. I got enough time, but I just, Holy Ghost just be saying so much. If any man come to me, uh -huh. 14 and 26, right? No, 24. Okay, I'm sorry. For I say unto you that none of those men which were bidden shall taste of taste. Did I, did I say, you, 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 oh yeah, I'm sorry, Luke 14, 26, I'm sorry, you were right. Yeah, you were right. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and oh, look at that. Don't that sound cruel? Mm -hmm. If any man will come out to me and don't hate who? Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> don't hate the whole family. Yeah. <laughs> that sound that sounds so cruel. Come on, and, and what else? And his own life. And even your own life. Because the life that we choose to live is not the life that God ordained for us to live. Come on. So when I lose my life, he said in the scripture, I find my life. Yes. Because once I get in Christ, my life is then revealed. Come on now. Come on. Because you know you, you, hey, I, I want to I wanna live and have all the money in the world. That's your, that's your life. You already know how we how we are. Yeah. You want to, you know, we want to smile and everything goes. <laughs> how you doing? I'm good. How about you? <laughs> yeah. And your own life. He Come can, on. He cannot be my disciple. And whatsoever do not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. So I got the I got the. So he said, say, say, say the last part again. After, 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 say the last part again after you said. Uh, and whatsoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot bear my, be my disciple. Go up a little bit. Up a little bit. He cannot be my disciple. Lose his own life. Okay. And then, so now if I don't bear my cross, I got an assignment. That cross is your assignment. Amen. Now I can't do your assignment. And then when I stand before God. I get rewarded for that. Oh, wow. Wow. Uh -huh. I can't do what I want to do. That's my point. That's right. I want to be a prophet. Oh my. I want to be an apostle. Woo. See, the, see the reason why a lot of people now are in mental institutions. Mm -hmm. That's it. Is because they wanted to be something. That want to ordain for their life. Amen. Not that they lost their mind. Amen. My God. In God's kingdom, whatever God called you to be, you were born that way. Amen. 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 
say that. The only thing can, that can be added to you are the gifts of the Spirit. Okay. Not who you're called to be. That's right. That can never be changed. Amen. You got so many pop-up prophets and pop-up apostles. Jesus. Uh -huh. Everybody want to be an apostle. You know, one of the reasons I believe, this is my own opinion, I believe because they don't want nobody over them. But you still out of order. That's right. Because you got to have somebody to cover you anyway. That's right. God, cover, God covers everybody, idiot. Okay. <laughs> so my prayer has been, I need somebody to pour back into us, me and my wife. Yeah, Jesus, I know I, I got somebody, but I'm, I'm, I'm talking about, see, because the, when you start, listen to this right here, hear me real clearly. When you start helping people get free, it depletes you. That's right. It depletes you. Yeah. Now, now you're reading through the week, you're fasting, you're praying, and you're, 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 you're studying the word. That gives you some all back, but not as, sometimes as much as you need. Sometimes your, 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 your gas light be on. Amen. Amen. And one of the things that you don't want to ever do is lead on empty. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yeah, That's right. Lead on empty because you might encounter one. Mm -hmm. And you run up on that one. And you ain't ready. Uh-huh. See, we want to be, you know, you said something this morning, but we want to always keep our walk. You should never take them off. That's right. Always keep on your battle gear. Mm -hmm. Come on. Even while you sleep. Uh -huh. See, it ain't, you, buddy. it ain't nothing you it ain't nothing you put on anyway. You should keep it on. Amen. That's right. Yeah, he said put on the whole armor of God. Amen. You keep it on. That's right. See the enemy see, he know when we undressed. That's right. Come uh -huh. on. He know. Yeah, you know, when when, when spirits attack, it don't even bother me. Right. I don't I don't get worked up, you know why? I'm used to it. Uh -huh. Yeah. Amen. I'm used to it. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. And I ain't I ain't when when they start cutting up I ain't. Follow me. Cut up. That's what they, what they do anyway. Okay. When the boy had a lunatic spirit, cut up, threw him in the water to fight, cut up. <laughs> Amen. Yeah, that's what they follow me. Amen. When you get finished, then you come on out. Okay. Yeah, that's kind of that's kind of thought that God gives us over those demons. Amen. That's right. Amen. But you got to be ready. Amen. You can't hold hands with them six days a week. Well. Okay. And then on Sunday morning, now you want to try to cast them out. Yeah, because if you ain't heard, you never heard them say nothing to you, then that, that, that day they will talk to you. Who, who, who you think you're talking to? Okay. I know you. Yeah, who you think you're talking to? <laughs> who think you talking to? Really? Yeah, really? We were just together a few hours ago. Jeez. You hear them jokers talk, they make you sound yeah. like, ooh, God. Yeah. 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 So we as the people of God first must die to our own will. Uh -huh. Got to die to our will. Before we can even commit, we got to die. We got to make a declaration and say, Father, I die to my way. Come on now. You got to die my way. You got to call the funeral home and schedule a, a funeral. Yes, sir. Yeah. Call the funeral. Who died? I did. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm coming down there in about 30 minutes. I'm down there. Yeah. We got to I'm telling you, we got to die our will. We got to get out of the way, man. Yes. In order for God to operate, we got to get out of the way. My opinion about what, 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 what God's word say don't even matter. Yes. Revelation got to come from on high. Amen. 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 It's got to come from on high. I'm not preaching this word to just you, this word coming to me too. Amen. 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 There was a process that we can't skip. Uh -oh. Yeah, we can't skip the process. Uh, oh, oh, my God. We'll never receive power until we first die. That's right. Give me John 12. John 12. Verse 24. We got to move it. We got to move it quickly. Kind of expedition here. Yes, ma'am. Uh, John chapter 12, verse 24. Verily, verily, I say unto you, uh -huh. except a corn of wheat fall into the ground and die, mm -hmm. it abide alone. Uh -huh. But if it die, it bringeth forth much fruit. So a seed ain't no good in your hand. Well, you know. Your life ain't no good in your hand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Your life got to go through a process and called germination. Uh -huh. When you die, 
you got to be put in a dark place. We See, with us as the people of God don't like darkness. But it's the only way to know whether your light shines or not. Yeah, 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 yeah. You put a seed in a dark place and you cover it up. Then that seed. Now, the only thing you got in your hand you see is a shell. You don't see the potential. That's right. Yeah. I, I, I can look at you and I don't see anything but you. But inside of you is you. Yeah. So I got to peel off the layers like an onion. Uh huh. see, that's what life does. You know, when that when that seed when that seed go in the ground, uh, the dirt. The darkness, it, it starts to break open mm -hmm. the outward shell. Amen. Yeah. And then once you start getting some word and some water, the word is the water. So you start getting some, some sunlight. You start your roots. You don't, you don't pop up yet. But your roots start to spread out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then after they get a little strength and take a little... You know, it gets stable. Yeah. Then after a while, you see a blade pop up. Boop! There you go. Then you got to you got to stay rooted and stay grounded. You got to you got you can't you can't be moved all over the place. You got to get still in one ministry and bloom where you've been planted. That's right. That's right. Amen. I'm, I'm telling you what happened to me. I had to get still. I, I can count how many ministers I've been under on one hand. Yeah. Some I went to because I had I ain't know no better. Right. And some I went to because I know God sent me. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. And then once you get there, watch this. When you get there, the people that's leading should know why you're there. Amen. 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 That's yeah. right. That's yeah. good. That's because they 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 start. Because a lot of times what God will do is he'll allow them to put that finishing touch on you. Amen. Yeah, finishing touch. Start, you can start getting polished. <laughs> See, a lot, of people don't like the, a lot of people don't like the full process. That's right. You know, I don't want a car that's just prime. Amen, amen. You know what I'm talking about? I like a car that's been, I like a car that's been, that's been first of all, been sanded on. Uh-huh. Okay, got all the wrinkles out. Because God come back for a church without Spot of oh, God, oh blemish. Come on. So the car might not be perfect, but you can look down and don't see no waves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. So then when you put the prime on me, mm -hmm. the only thing it do is get ready to cause the paint to stick good. Uh -huh. Then once you put the paint on, it ain't finished yet. That's right. Come on, y'all. You a lot of people don't know. Oh, my paint ain't shining. No, you ain't got paint don't shine. That's right. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You got clear coat. You know, you you when you waxing your car, you ain't waxing the paint. Look at my paint shining. No <laughs> paint shining. That's the clear coat. Yeah. So once they, so once they put that that that, that clear coat, that poly everything on you, then you shine. You then you ready then. Come on. So God got to process us. That's right. And we can't rush the process. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I told you, man, do yourself a favor and go and look at the process of pottery. Mm -hmm. It'll bless your life. That's us. Mm -hmm. With that with that dirt that that ain't nothing. Before somebody takes us up in their hand and fashion us and make us out of something and then let us dry and then put us in that kiln mm -hmm. and cure us out. So that's why God, that's why a lot of situations keep showing up because you ain't cured good yet. Come on, yeah. And then watch this. And then when you ain't ready, they put you in the fire, you crack. Mm -hmm. That's right. Okay. Give, 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 give me Jeremiah 18 and 1. Yeah, give me Jeremiah 18 and 1. We doing all right? Amen. Yes. I'm helping somebody this morning. Somebody hungry. I can feel you. You pulling on me. Yeah, somebody pulling on me. Yeah. Yeah, because we are very unfinished. <laughs> Even when you think you finished. I, right now, I'm not finished. I'm in my destiny. But I ain't finished yet. If I don't endure to the end, yeah, I got to keep, I got to keep doing what God called me to do. Oh, uh, Jeremiah 18 in town this week there, honey. All right, lad, let's go here. Thank <laughs> Yeah. You and your little minister will be all over there. Let's go, yeah. <laughs> Jeremiah 18. Read, read, read the Bible. <laughs> read the Bible. Verse. Huh? One. One. Oh. I said one. <laughs> <laughs> the word which came to Jeremiah from the Lord saying, uh -huh. Arise and go down to the potter's house. Go down to the potter's house. Why am I going over the Latter day Rain ministry? <laughs> oh, God. Get it. 
Go ahead. <laughs> Arise and go to the to the potter's house, and there will there I will cause thee to hear my word. Good God. So you came here first of all. God. To hear the word. Uh -huh. He come to look at me. I ain't, I ain't nothing to be looked at. I'm like Jesus on the cross. I'm in there whoop. He want nothing to be looked upon. All right. Go ahead, read. Then I went down to the potter's house, and uh -huh. behold, he wrought a work on the wheel. That's what God, that word rock, that, that, that word rock means the hammer. See, when they made pottery back then, I mean, when they made, when they made uh, pans back then, they took a hammer on a piece of metal. Mm -hmm. And they whoop, they whooped it into shape. Mm -hmm. Y'all bring your mind. <laughs> bring your mind <laughs> they, they whooped up and they hammered it. I'm telling you. They hammered it into shape. Mm -hmm. Okay. So what God is doing now, he's rotting a work in us. Mm -hmm. So we got to allow God's word, which is him, to make us into what he Ordained for us to be from the foundation of the world. So he wrote a word. Come on. He did what now? And the vessel that he made of clay was marred in the hand of the potter. Okay, so that means so he makes the first one and it was no good. That's right. But it was where? Oh God. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That's the best place to be. Oh God. Yeah, you messed up. Mm -hmm. But you in his hands. Yeah. So the first one he made, it didn't come out right. But I'm still in his hands. hands. So he made it again, another vessel, uh -huh. as he seemed good to the potter come on. to make it. See? Then the word of the Lord came to me, saying, O house of Israel, cannot I do with you as this potter? Says the Lord, behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand. So are ye in my hand, O house of Israel. You better stay in that. I keep telling you, you better stay in the ship. Amen. Better stay in the ship. You better stay in this wheel. Don't you don't you allow situations and ninjas to get you out of this church. Amen. You hear what I'm telling? This is the wheel right now that God got you on. Amen. Look, I don't care if the wheel is spinning and you slide off. <laughs> you, 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 better, you better get back on. Right. Yeah, come on, you you ain't gonna be on the merry go round and spin you fast, and you shoot on, huh? Yeah, yeah, you ever, you ever try to gotta catch back up and you grab that joke and you shoot legs six straight out. You try to hold on for dear life. I'm telling you, Jesus. Y'all know what? They ain't got merry go round no more. How to do that? Y'all, we don't take kids to the parks no more and stuff like. That. We ain't got time. The parents ain't got time. I ain't got time. You ain't got no, no, you make time. That's right. right. Hey, you make time. Yeah. Little boys ought to be playing with trucks and little girls ought to be playing with dogs. We make time. That's right. Yeah, they make them appreciate. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Make them appreciate the small thing. Get them, let them get in the dirt and get. Don't you get dirty with them new Nikes on and they can't even walk in. <laughs> <laughs> you got on Jordans on. <laughs> put that joke on no, put that joke on some some some, 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 some no name. Yeah. He spent a hundred dollars on a, a pair of shoes for baby. And then that now you got them hanging up on your mirror in the car. White bill do you pray. Father? And every time you pray, you look at them shoes. <laughs> Okay, so 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 he's a potter. We are the clay. He sends the word to fashion us and make us. It don't always feel good when the word hit us, but it's gonna be good for us in the end if we endure to the end. He said, "Endure hardness as a good soldier." Yes. Come on, we got to go through something. It ain't. Let me tell you something. If you watch, if you ain't never watched the Passion of Christ, do yourself a favor and watch that movie from beginning to end, and do not get distracted. That's right. Man, let me say. Don't get distracted. Watch. I'm telling you. Watch. The, what, what, look what. Look at what he went through for us, and he didn't have to. That's right. Now you telling me there ain't no God? And that all that foolishness you talking about? Well, did he drink wine? Oh, man, I'm getting what he drink. He died for you. Mm -hmm. Look, come on with all these dumb questions. Did he have a girlfriend or what? No. 
know. I mean, all these theological questions. What you think? I don't think that. I think you need to be delivered. <laughs> I think. Watch this right here. So Jesus said that the hour has come for him to be put to death. Okay? Now Jesus is the wheat of corn. He was put into the earth and he died. Well, he was died. He was dead, but they put him in the earth. He had to die to bring forth us. Our salvation. Amen? Our salvation. You got to understand everything that happened. Man, it was so strategic the way they went to the garden to get him. Yeah. Everything was so, it was so strategic. <laughs> Judas betrayed him. Mm -hmm. You going to have some betrayals? Yes, I'm right. talking about some of your ride and dies. Right. Yeah, you going to have some betrayals. They going to be jealous of you. Yeah. Oh, you going to own that dentist? Yeah. <laughs> yes. They ain't going to break it up there work for you last time. Yeah, because you was a part of it. Hello, my God. So I got you out of the way. Now it's going to work for my good. Hallelujah. See, that's when them Henderson's got to go. Yeah. Family and friends. Yeah. Ooh. yeah. See, come through, Jesus. Come on. Mm. Yeah, you got to see. See, a lot of times that thing didn't work this way. If you want something different, you got to change something. That's right. Uh -huh. So Jesus was there. We the corn that died. So when they got to the go, send me, watch this. Uh, uh, Judas. Now, Judas thought he was being slick. Open the door for me. Judas says, because Jesus looked just like him. He was dressed like him now. Okay, he was dressed just like him. So in order for them to identify him, he said, hey, it's going to be the one that I kiss. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we think everybody's kissing. Hey, yeah, hey, yeah. <laughs> people kissing and hugging all on you. Keep telling you, watch them people. Okay. Watch them people. It was custom for them to do that back then. It ain't custom now. Hello. Man, you got to watch it in the kitchen. It might be your betrayers. So when he kissed him, Jesus said to, Jesus said to Judas, friend, do you betray me with a kiss? Mm -hmm. My God. Yeah. So they arrest him. They start a fight breaks out right in Gethsemane. Mm -hmm. And Peter pulls his sword. Shoo, cuts the man's ear off. Cuts his ear off. And Jesus tells Peter, Peter, put the sword up. The sword up. What you doing? Don't you know a guy I'm on assignment? Why did he put the ear back? Why did he put the ear back? Because if Peter had to wait to go to court, it would have threw everything off. So God said, oh God, Jamal messed up again. Let me go fix this so I can get him back in, uh, get him back in alignment. Jesus, thank you, Lord. That's what he did. He said, no, 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 this can't happen. Right. He put the man ear back, and I'm telling you, the man sat there like, <laughs> he sat there for me. He, he touches you about three times. He said, no, it's right. So it had to happen that way. Everything had to happen. And even when they got there to release one of the criminals or Christ, they always released the criminal that time of year. They kept asking Jesus, are you the king of the Jews? And then Pilate said, no, I, got, I got the power to release you or crucify you. Jesus, Jesus looked at him and said, the power you got came from me. Woo! My God. Woo! Mm -hmm. Yeah. But he didn't buck. He didn't try to get away. Us? Cuss, cuss. Kicking, Kicking, cussing, yeah. fussing. You better get these jokers, man. I'm telling you, when I get a loose, he didn't do all that. Okay. Yeah, he didn't do all that. He stood right there. He didn't go back and forth with them. The Bible says he was obedient yes. even unto death. Yes. Because he knew that we were going to need to be redeemed. Amen. Beautiful. So he was not thinking about himself. He was thinking about us. He was thinking about us. So he died anyway. Oh, God. Jesus told his disciples after his resurrection that all power was given unto him. Then Jesus distributed his power out among the church. What happened to the authority? Some of us are still operating in it, but a whole lot of the church, we ain't. That's right. There's a spirit of entertainment. 
We got to be careful. Amen. We don't come to entertain people. That's right. We can't. We come to get equipped. Look, look, look at the vision over there. Our vision is to awaken. Uh -huh. That means you need to first be born again. Uh huh. Right? Uh huh. Because he said, he said, write the vision and do what with it? Make it and make it plain. And they that read it should do what? So you need to run with the vision. Hey, what are you doing over there? People getting saved? They getting equipped and empowered? It's our vision. To awaken. Look at it. To equip and to empower disciples is right there in the middle at the top. In red, in the blood. Watch this. Uh, we, we empower and awaken and equip through the word of God to advance the kingdom of God. Amen. That's what we're doing over here. If anybody asks you what we're doing over here, we're making disciples. Amen. He said in Matthew 28, 18, 18 and 19, go ye therefore and make disciples. Disciples are not born, they're made. I know I was born leader. Why you ain't leading then? Okay. <laughs> you might have leader quality. Why you ain't leading? Because most people don't know who they really are. That's right. Yeah. Somebody, 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 a lot of times that's why, that's why I always say, you know, parents, watch what you said to your kids. Close it. Watch what you said to your kids. Don't call them dummy. Don't call them all this crazy stuff. Don't do that. Yeah, that's right. Because what you're doing is you're dropping seed. Words are seed. And guess what? They're going to land somewhere. crazy. You, something wrong with you. And then when they grow up, something probably be wrong with them. Then you wonder, ain't nobody else in the family like, no, 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 no. You formed their future by the words that you spoke. My God. Okay. So word curses are real. Yes, they are. Yeah. So, if, so if you marry and your husband ain't where you think he ought to be, when you speak to him, good morning, man of God. He'll look at you like, what you been drinking? I've been drinking the word. What about you? Your wife ain't doing it in that place. With, Good morning, woman of God. Amen. See what they're doing? They're starting to redirect them. Uh -huh. They call me a woman. That's what they think. No, they ain't, they ain't what I think. That's what I believe. Amen. Yeah. That's right. They'll start, they'll start to, I'm telling you, man. Something will start changing. Amen. Them bones start rattling. Yeah, let's start rallying. Because you prophesied to that person. Amen. Build them up. Beautiful. Beautiful. Build them up. Don't tear them down. That's right. Just remember where you were at one time. Uh-huh. Just remember how it felt when somebody called you fat. Mm -hmm. Somebody called you ugly. I mean, think about it. Come on now. Yeah. Because you know? there's certain things, men, that you don't say to women. There's certain things I'm telling you now. You can say them if you want to. You think it's cold on your side of the bed now. Jesus. <laughs> you can have five blankets on. And it'd be like a winter storm over there. Maybe you all right over there? <sighs> yeah, I'm all right, you. <sighs> so you you don't say to a woman now. Right. Okay? Right. I'm going to tell you I'm gonna tell you something that my parents, I, ain't gonna say, I think I heard somebody older say this. They said, if a woman tell her age, she'll tell anything. That's what I heard now. I don't know how much you meant it, but yeah. But I'll tell you something. I'll tell you something. I've always told men. I said, if you ever get a woman to laugh. <laughs> yes, sir. A goose is cooked. Anyway, but God is looking for total commitment. Ah, total commitment. What, 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 what do total commitment look like? What do it look like? Matthew 6 33. Yeah, seeking first the way that God wants things done. Not my way, not when I want to do it. It's, 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 it's having your list set. Okay, if God is the head of my life, then it should look that way. I don't have to say it. Okay, watch this now. I'm in Bible study. 
I'm where I'm supposed to be. I'm telling you. If you, if you ain't been in Bible study, you're missing a tree. in my family whatever it is uh, if it's my job that's keeping me from putting you first show me show me if it's because of what things that I have that's causing me to be in a comfort zone God show me
This is my petition this morning. I want to go deeper in you. And I know that where I am right now, Where you think you are in God, come, let, let me pray with you. 